this is a quick review of the men's Puma GB Special Silver. So this is the unboxing. And this is the shoe. So we have a silver top. It's made out of uh, synthetic and leather. This is a hard rubber. The outsole is handmade and it's very comfortable and it's very sturdy. It's got a nice feel to the rubber so it has this texture where it kind of grips the cement. It's a beautiful shoe. Odin, what do you think about the GB Specials? I think they're really good, and I've been using them for a long time too. Just recently, I got the GB, but I've been using them for such a long time. They are really great. Um, only how I got GB. How do you like the color? Yeah, I think it's really good. And these. You like the color? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, they're a little out there. The silver ones are a little wild, but they're fun. And, uh, and if you're if you're like skateboarding or you're uh, scooting on the road, a car will definitely see you with these silver yeah. Puma GV specials. These are very. And I have uh, these the are from like five years ago, and I actually still wear them every now and then. And these are and look and the bottom is very tight, same, but still very lightweight. I that's mean, right, light, and that light. means like the bottom is like totally not gonna same come style, off. same like shoe, it's just a different color, a little yeah. bit different texture. And also an inside. You don't get to see this kind of cool inside, you see that? That's right. The GV Specials were designed in 1970, mm -hmm. early 70, and um, by a tennis player, I believe, from Argentina. Yeah. And they've been very successful ever since, and um, I love them. Yeah. Puma's GV Special, I'm not getting paid by Puma. I have nothing to do with the, the company Puma. I just really like their shoes. Yeah, the and um, I would recommend them. You can get them in all different colors. You don't have to get silver. Um, Puma GB Specials, very comfortable. Yeah. They last. You can see there is no wear on here. I've been wearing them for a week. I even look at these. Yeah, this I have is some. GB special also. That's right. Yeah. I've been ha I've had these for about five years. And. And you see, look at them. They barely. If we compared wear. them to another shoe that I've been wearing for the, for about a week, these are Clark's. It's an England company. Actually, these are made in China. It's an England company. Their shoes used to be made in uh, England, but now they're made in China, of course. And these are Clark's. They're uh, cloud steppers. I've been wearing these for a week, as well as these for a week. After a week on the, in the cloud steppers, they're lightweight, uh, very lightweight shoe. It's a nice shoe, comfortable, but um, as you can see, there's a lot of wear in the rubber already. Mm -hmm. It's only been one week. And this Here's is, the this other one. looks like four, five years old, and look at this. All this and the wear on here, no wear. There is no wear on the Pumas. See, and they will hold up for years and years yeah. if you want to wear them for that like long. This. See, this is, this is very old, like three, four, five years. And look at this. All this is just this little thing. It's still so much rubber. So many and this is after five years. Yeah. But one you can see the rubber has worn down. But just only like the skin of the rubber. But I still wear them. So, so many different And they're still comfortable. I wear them for like going very, out the dirty mud very, part. And the little kick on the side, but it's still very comfortable and lightweight and they and they and they're not too tight. So Puma GV specials between forty and eighty dollars. Best buy for the money. Um pick a color, get some, they're great shoes. And you can get them for your kids, you have to look. Hi Andrew. You can get like with your DNA kids, like